Can the physical delineation of a building become virtual? Can a static structure become live? I'm addressing these questions in a post-digital world where the digital transcends reality to produce unexpected art. My aim is to reveal a process of transcendency occurring in just one landmark building in the City of London. Already, the cheese grater, as it is called, embraces the future. The workings of the building are not hidden, but instead they become the means of expressing its nature and function. It invites people in, rather than presenting a closed facade to the world. What I find in the cheese grater is an extraordinary range of light motives. I'm making use of the musical connotations of this term quite deliberately. Sometimes these are small details, as you see here. At other times they are whole elevations or complete spaces, but always they serve to capture a design language that produces architecture of exceptional quality. But it's the main facade of the cheese grater sloping up 45 floors into the sky that has prompted me to explore the building's post-digital future. It's like a giant easel of opportunity. An opportunity for painting with light. And for this purpose, I've created a set of repeat patterns, all derived from the building's light motives, that continually change and evolve as they are illuminated on the cheese grater's facade as I'll now demonstrate. If this sort of display was to happen in reality, it would be the largest light show in town, if not the world. And it could happen. The technology exists to make it a post-digital reality. In case you're wondering, it's the rhythms of Richard Rodney Bennett's sonatina for solo clarinet that set the cheese grater alight. I'm continuing now with the second movement from the same piece. This time, you'll see that I'm exploding my light motifs. They spin apart and come together again to reveal the architectural elements from which they're derived.
In the last movement, I'm continuing to play by post-digital game through a series of quick change collage. The rhythms of the sonatina prompt arrangements of my light motifs to assemble and disassemble in a multitude of ways. Like a Pied Piper, my clarinet playing has succeeded in illuminating the future in the City of London. The digital has transcended reality to produce unexpected art, at least in my imagination. What I see happening is a new type of post-digital relationship between architecture and music. Music can become liquid architecture. Architecture ceases to be frozen music. It's an exciting post-future prospect which turns Goethe's quote on its head. At first, I thought the architects and developer of the cheese grater would be aghast at my subversive treatment of their building. In fact, the opposite is true. They're delighted to have become part of an illuminated future. 